Hey, it's Mike here with Health News Wires, uh, sharing a, a report on uh, how to reduce dangerous inflammation using some alternative sources of omega-3 fatty acids. I also want to show you a, a free report titled The 15 Foods That Damage Your Heart. So stay tuned at the end of this um, video and I'll show you how to get that. You can also jump on the uh, description here below and click through to, to that report right now. So um, omega-3 fatty acids have become an essential part of any healthy diet, uh, especially if you live in, in the United States uh, where the Western diet is full of saturated fats, sugars, salts, uh, processed foods, and GMOs or genetically modified organisms. Uh, all these things uh, build up in your body and, and basically wreak havoc on it, uh, causing chronic inflammation that increases the amount of diabetes, obesity, mental health disorders, heart disease, arthritis, skin issues, you name it, and inflammation has a, has a, a hand in it. So the most effective way to reduce inflammation in your body is, is through an anti-inflammatory diet. And what that anti-inflammatory diet does is it eliminates processed foods uh, sugar, most saturated fats, and increases the amount of fresh organic fruits, vegetables, spices, whole grains, and omega-3 fatty acids. So I want to show you, uh, typically we think of, of fish and freshwater fish for cold water fish when we think of omegas. I want to show you some alternative sources uh, if you don't have that readily available. Uh, first I want to show you is um, vegetables, fruits, uh, some plant-based omega-3s and um, avocados, cold press, extra virgin olive oil, chia seeds are three plant-based sources that will provide um, EPA, which is a, a form of omega-3s. Uh, your body needs to convert uh, alpha linoleic acid, which are in these foods, into EPA, so you're going to need a greater amount of, of these vegetables and, and uh, plant-based sources than you would if you were consuming fish. A uh, second source of, of uh, omega-3 that's not fish-based is raw nuts, and the key is raw. Uh, walmond, wal walnuts, almonds, cashews, they contain ALA and provide uh, another source of EPA and omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, it's best to eat nuts raw uh, when they roast or if they're processed, uh, it ruins or destroys the omega-3s and makes it uh, less efficient. So raw nuts and seeds are, are great sources of omega-3s. And another way you can get omega-3 is through a fish krill oil supplement. Uh, you can see, you often see fish oil as a source of omega-3 and you often see krill oil. Uh, I would look for a combo um, and what that does is it provides a significant amount of DHA, DHA and EPA uh, from wild sustainable fish sources and krill sources as well. Uh, supplementing this way ensures that you're receiving effective amounts of DHA, EPA, and ALA, uh, the three components of omega-3 fatty acids. So if you may have a combination of um, raw nuts, the plant-based sources that we talked about earlier and a fish oil supplement, krill oil supplement, you're going to be in good shape for your your recommended amount of omega-3s. Uh, also I wanted to share with you this 15 foods that damage your heart report. It's a 34 page report and it's free. Uh, you really got nothing to lose so you can just click on uh, the link here and it talks about the 15 worst and best foods for your heart and overall health. really focuses on um, inflammation and the anti-inflammation diet. Uh, it shows the number one worst oils oil to cook with. Uh, it talks about a certain type of fish you never ever want to eat. Uh, provides things like the three worst condiments uh, for your arteries and those are often promoted as, as healthy uh, choices. And it also gives you um, the best food of all time for your heart, arteries, and cholesterol health. So take advantage of that. You just got to click on uh, the screen here and the, the report will be emailed to you. Um, 
and consider some alternative sources of omega-3s uh, to reduce inflammation in your body. Thanks for listening. This is Mike from, from Health News Wires.